Welcome, welcome. But before we get to our prediction, before we get to our video, I would like to give another shout out to my man, Bookies underscore Dev on IG. So you can find him on IG. The man has 10 plus years of experience betting. So, you know, he give you the complimentary betting advice to maybe my predictions or maybe his predictions. But either way, he'll give you that complimentary, like, he'll give you that experience. So, like, you know, you're consulting before you make a bet. This guy, you know, can maximize your bet. Probably same exact prediction, but how you best can maximize and make your money off of your prediction. So you can take my predictions, maybe take his, you know, give his insight, get my insight, you pick our brains. But as far as him, he'll give you that more one on one because that's what he does. Right now, I'm not in, I'm, I just give you my predictions. I might give him a little tidbits here and there, but I'm not going to be the guy that's sitting down there, you know, sitting at a table with you or sitting on the phone with you necessarily and giving you that all that insight. I'm going to get my predictions, drop them. Might drop a little parlay or two here and there. You know, give y'all some little tips just for tuning in if y'all ask. But he's going to give you the full service. Yes, it might come with a little bit of payment, but you probably get some notes out of him prior to paying him. And if you like those things that pay off for you or, you know, you like his knowledge, you like what you're hearing, then invest more. I'm never going to say just go out there and just throw your money, get this guy $10, $20, $20 billion like that. But yeah, try to get as much as you get out free. Take my recommendation. If you like it, go further. But again, don't be a sheep. Do your own intel. Ask your own questions. And go to them. And I, once again, send you off to Bookies on the Scores Depth. I'm not saying I'm just sending you guys off and I'm about to abandon y'all. I'm just saying, come here. I'm be here every single week, every single weekend, every single time there's a fight. Bellator, UFC, sometimes PFL. But as far as you want to get deeper into the predictions, not, I mean, deeper into the betting side of things, he's the guy that can help you right now. So go over to him, Bookies on the Score Depth. On IG, and again, link welcome will be back in the to the channel, and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the welterweight bout between Geoff Neal or Jeff Neal. I don't know how you say them. Is Geoff or Jeff? But Jeff Neal versus Santiago Ponsonibio in the welterweight division. How I say this one is? I feel like it was very much a toss up, but now with Jeff Neal having DWI charges and uh, riding with like a two fight losing streak, and yeah. Gun charges and stuff. So driving around with guns, drinking, under the influence and whatnot. Not a good look. Like a couple days before your fight. And probably, I don't know if this fight even going to happen because you already under the influence. Well, they ain't say he was under drugs, but I don't know. I ain't look all that into it. But either way, not a good look. Very close fight on paper. But now that just make it an easy pick. I'm leaning to Santiago Ponsonibio, the guy that's coming back, you know, you know, getting refocused and, you know, making adjustments and, where you know he need to make those adjustments and his head is on straight. Where Jeff Neal like seemed like a guy that you know typically have been on the straight and narrow. And the guy that has been professional, been a a professional and solid guy. And like you can't really say anything bad about him as far as him as a person. And I'm you still to this point can't really say nothing necessarily too bad about him. I mean driving under influence is pretty terrible, but yeah, people do it sometimes. A lot of people do it. A lot of people that are good do it. So. And they get pat on the back or people forget about it so quickly. But either way, Jeff Neal is, um, yeah, not, not look like in the right head space right now. Looking all ungroomed, look like, like me right now. And then drinking and all that other stuff. And under influence, why you got a big fight coming up and you're riding a two-fight losing streak. Don't like his head in the right place. I feel like Ponson Nebio is going to be able to just simply outwork him. Stick behind that jab. Stay on him. And just... Never really give him that breathing room and never let up. I think Jeff Neal makes it to the decision, but I definitely think Santiago, Pog Santiago Ponsonibio just you know, sets up the, you know, sets the pace early and sets the, um, that I'll be the one on the front, I'll be the one active. Sets, you know, he dictates that very early on in the fight and never lets go of it during the fight. I mean, Jeff Neal will probably have his moments, like will definitely have his moments in the fight, but the theme of the fight would definitely be Ponsonibio's activity, his pressure in his forward pressure, and never really allowing Jeff Neal to really get those, those space and time to let his own strikes go off to the degree that he needs to go off to find success, whether it get a stoppage or get his hand raised. Definitely not to get his hand raised. I feel like Ponson Davis will be at least trying to double, like, get him out two to one as far as strikes. Like, when you go, when if Jeff Neal lets go, he's going to fire two, at least two shots back. And the whole time, stand in his face, pepper him with a jab. And then if Jeff Neal responds, he got coming back with two, um, two, two shots to his one, at least two shots to his one. So in this one, I got Santiago Ponson Nibio, Via yeah, via decision.